Welcome to Flat Out Elected. My name is Rand Campbell. Let me get up on this video. I, I want to just, I want to lay this down in, in a way that is going to seriously pierce the hearts of those that are so lukewarm they just don't get what it is that's going on in the world that they're in. Did you guys recognize a lot of very suspect People in this world, idols and, and celebrities and, and so-called leaders professing Jesus Christ in these days. There is a plethora of this going on. We, we've got Donald Trump saying that he is a born-again Christian, but he doesn't need to repent. He, he just sees where he does wrong and doesn't do it again. Ay, ay, ay. We got Kanye West claiming to be a believer in Christ and making... Whack loads of money selling merchandise at his events and getting paid $300,000 to speak at Joel Olstein's satanic temple. Yeah, I said that. He, he's a Satanist. Do your research. And so is Kanye West, and so is Kanye West's wife's family. If you've researched the Kardashians, of which whom came out of nowhere, they are a generational satanic family of witches. Oh, witches don't exist. Why? Well, apparently, you don't read your Bible. Uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, they do exist. And guess what? Idols are witches and warlocks. They're demons, possessed by demons. Yeah, they're in human flesh, but don't let the flesh fool you. Come on now. We don't fight the flesh. We fight demons and principalities and powers in high places. Darkness, and that darkness resides within the idols and the things of this world that are worshipped by the blind, by people that can't see the truth. Now that's where the demons and principalities reside. I told you this before, that, that the demons and these fallen angels are ranked. They have low-ranking demons and they have high, high, high-ranking demons all the way up to the God of this world, of which my Bible says is Satan. You see, Kanye West claims Christ, but Jesus Christ said that many will come in his name and he will spit them out of his mouth like lukewarm water and tell them I didn't know you get away from me you worker of iniquity you think that Kanye West hasn't been a worker of iniquity oh yeah 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 but Paul God, God, God changed Paul okay does that mean that there's no such thing as a wolf in sheep's clothing does that not mean that Satan is not smart enough to be able to use that particular scripture in that you'll just say, oh, no, no, if they're not against us, they're for us. There, there, there are sheep that are, 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 are lost to this world still. That's why Jesus said that he'll leave the 99 to go out and get that one. Satan knows how to use scripture against the believer. There are, are wolves that appear to be sheep, that appear to be Christians, that claim Jesus Christ, but be very, very discernful. Be very, very careful when you endorse them, when you applaud them, and you direct people to them. You see, Kanye West claims that he got a $160 million tax reserve as a blessing from God. We're talking about a guy that claims to already be a billionaire through his music and through his fashion business. So, so... God, 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 God is just rewarding $160 million to a guy that's already filthy rich. When there are people in the world that are starving and suffering. I know this to be true because I'm in the Dominican Republic feeding the very people that I'm talking about that are starving, that are truly suffering. You got to wake up. I mean, that's the bottom line. You have got to wake up. Christians have got to stop being so deceived and so led in the wrong direction because you're swimming in the river of absolute foolishness and that river is leading to the lake of fire you see all rivers end up in a lake and the lake that this river that you're in is leading you to the lake of fire you see truth is like the liquidity of water jesus christ said i am the truth jesus christ said he's also the living water you're in dead water going to the lake of fire 
Quit following these celebrities. Quit following these idols. Quit following all of these people that are claiming Christ. You watch that this this ridiculous U.S. government fiasco, this circus, the, the, this unbelievable clown car that, that people are, are are on the side of the road hitchhiking, dying to get in this clown car so they can be a part of something they think is amazing when in reality they're a part of something that is completely foolish. They're all puppets. Every one of them. You couldn't name a, a high-level politician that isn't a puppet. You can't do it. They're puppets. They're more deceived than you are, and yet you are still equally deceived in the sense that you don't even care to have eyes to see or ears to hear. What you want to do is you want to just follow the world. What I'm telling you is that the world is in the river of foolishness, and that river is leading to the lake of fire, and you're having the time of your life in this, this river, splashing and jumping and swimming and, 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 and just loving the ways of this world. When God said, he that loves this world does not have the love of the Father within him, which means that as you are in this river of foolishness, being led to the lake of fire, having the time of your life, you do not have the liquidity of Jesus Christ in you of which whom is the living water you're dead you're dead if you believe Kanye West is actually in Christ you've done zero absolutely zero zero research more importantly you've got literally less than zero discernment less than zero he has claimed to have sold his soul to the devil yeah, it was a crappy deal, but at least he got a happy meal. If you think a billion dollars is a happy meal, then send me to the nearest McDonald's. I'm ordering 50 of them. And I'm going to take all that in billions that Kanye West gets as a happy meal, and I'm going to feed as many people as I can in this world before I pass. It's a joke. It's all a great big puppet show. Kanye West is a puppet for the deceiver. He is leading people to a lukewarm Christianity. He is leading people to a another Christ, not to the Jesus Christ that we serve. He, he, he's pushing Sunday worship along with the Pope, of which whom is another deceiver, quite possibly the false prophet. He's aligned himself to him and Joel Olstein, of which whom is guaranteed 100% for sure, not even close to being a Christian. If anything, he's a Satanist. Jesus Christ said, you cannot serve two masks. What I'm telling you is, Joel Alstein is not serving the Jesus Christ that we serve. He paid Kanye West $300,000 to attend his church. Why? You already know Kanye West is worth a billion dollars, according to him. He just got a $160 million tax return as a gift from God, if you believe that's true. God doesn't give $160 million gifts to people that have made a billion dollars serving Satan. I can promise you that. Well, why, 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 did, why, why, why did Joel Olstein have to pay Kanye? Kanye's already filthy rich. So is Joel Olstein. Well, why didn't Kanye West just say, look, you're a man of God, I'm a man of God, I'm going to come do this for free. I don't need to get paid to talk about God on your stage with your idol, your gold-spinning web ball rocket behind me. I don't need to come in and, and get paid to speak about God. I'm already rich. I'm going to do this for free. Why? Why, why do you get paid 300000 U.S. dollars? Because they're not Christians. That's why. Neither of them. But you've got to dig deep. You've got to research this. You've got to have eyes to see and ears to hear. You, you can't play games when it comes to, to understanding the truth. Don't listen to me. Go do your own research. I'm just piercing your heart. I'm trying to put a truth in you that hopefully you all have a love for God so strong and so, so, so much reverence for God that you'll actually take the time to listen to what I'm saying and that it would invoke you to go do a little bit of research. Rather than endorse the very people that God is going to say, I never knew you. Get away from me, you work of iniquity. And spit them out like lukewarm water. Rather than endorse those people, maybe you want to start endorsing people that actually have a true reverence for God, a love for God, so much so that they're willing to receive the truth of the world today and expose the demons for what they really are. Maybe you'd rather endorse that than endorse guys like Kanye West who are making millions of dollars 
off their celebrity claiming to be a Christian because they now know that the Christian market is a very good market for them to come in and make money and lead people into the river of foolishness again, which leads them to the lake of fire. You see, it, 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 it shocks me that Christians today are more offended at channels like mine that are exposing the demons of this world and exposing the deceptions of this world than they are offended at the actual deceptions. You're not offended at the deceptions at all. You're not offended at what Satan is doing in this world, that he has blinded this world so greatly that people are completely lost and deceived beyond human belief. They're lost to the nth degree. That doesn't bother you. What bothers you is that I, as a Christian, as a man of God, would expose that. Now, that's shocking to me. And it should be shocking to you. It, 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 it should set you back in your seat. It should throw you back into a deep understanding of God's scripture in the times that we are in. If, if it offends you that I expose the deceivers, but it doesn't offend you that we're being deceived, you need a Christian slap on the back of your head. You need to wake up and take four aspirins for each corner of your head because at the end of the day, you are so lost to the ways of this world that when the Bible says he that loves this world does not have the love of the Father within him, I'm going to ask you to take a hard look at that. You, you have to be completely blind, completely lost, if it offends you that there are Christian warriors standing up on a battlefield today fighting these demons and principalities in high places, and that offends you. But what the demons and principalities are doing in blinding the world and deceiving the world does not offend you. You need to question yourself, and you need to take a good hard look into your Christian mirror, open your Bible, ask yourself, and then go ahead and get on your knees with your face to the floor and pray to God as to why you don't have the discernment to see the truth and why your heart aches for the world but does not ache for the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the truth and the life, and nobody gets to the Father but through me. He is the living water that should be residing within you, but you want to swim in the, the, the river of foolishness on your way to the lake of fire and act like you're having the time of your life. And what I'm telling you is, is that there are people in this world that can't stand to hear the word repent. And there are people in hell right now that wish, wish and they pray that they could hear the word repent just one more time. Is when you talking to the, to the principalities and reminding the powers and telling them who you are and what's going to happen. That's when you get an attitude. We have access to God with boldness and confidence. We can go boldly to the throne of God. We can go confidently to him. But what does the devil do? He keeps bringing up your past. He keeps bringing up your failures. He keeps bringing up your shortcomings. I'm not going to God on the basis of my righteousness. Not my righteousness. I'm going on the basis of his righteousness and who he is.